Happy Friday, everybody. Another round of uh, Hoppy Fist and GeoGuessr. You know the rules, you know the rounds. Five rounds. Got uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Four minutes, sorry, to uh, figure out where we are, and we cannot go any farther there. Let's go this way. And it'd be hilarious if I can't uh, go any farther than here. Um, as I sit here and try to figure out if this is Brazil or South Africa, I want to discuss something that someone left a comment a couple of video videos ago. Yeah, okay, this is definitely Brazil. So it's just, hey, we'll just, we'll just put it there, because who the fuck knows? Let me turn this down a smidge. A smidge. There we go. And discussion that came up when I was talking about the dynasties. Ooh, we do have a dirt road. Perfect. Or paved road. Dynasties that were, uh, I talked about with the sports teams. And this little antidote, I did a quick look of like, because the guy talked about, uh, this particular rugby league where one side just dominated the other forever. And they eventually ended up fixing that by making it, uh, representation say like you can only be on a the team that's within like your town state province whatever it was called and it uh, developed more parity i guess in the league where one team or whatever didn't dominate the other one and i thought about if they did that with the nfl come on focus in this is ridiculous there we go kilometer 20 um and I wondered if they if they tried doing this with football, where if you, you can only play on the team in the state that you're from. And every single state could at least field one side of the team. I mean, you need 11 people to have an official team. And according to this one website I found that talked about um, where each professional NFL player was coming from, only the only state that didn't have uh, 11 people to... Field the team was Massachusetts, so literally the only state that could not field the team would have been the same one the New England Patriots are in. But that also led me to think about another issue I have with the most recent uh, Overwatch League they brought in. And I'm clearly in the minority as far as uh, how popular that le that series is, because it's, it's, it's gathering a lot of views on Twitch. and. For the hopeful future of esports or whatever the hell you want to call it i really hate that term but mm, what else are you gonna call it uh, for the the future of that to actually get some sort of mainstream uh recognition if it if that if at all that's necessary we'll just put it there We're on a road but i haven't found a sign for it is for something like the overwatch league to actually flourish and that looks like a flag but it's not yeah that was just a weird thing okay yeah, so you really need that thing to flourish, but I got I got some uh, reservations with it. What is this? Ah, we know this rule, 35 seconds. AC, got to look for an AC province. Province of AC. State of Acre, AC 475? It's 364, it's not 475. What about AC, is any other ACs? No, I don't see any. It's got to be AC4, but I don't see 475 anywhere. But apparently I nailed it because it was right there. I would have never have guessed that area. I'll give myself three stars. But uh, as I mentioned, oh, this is Russia probably. The uh, Overwatch League. Okay, we've got a police van. This is a cute little van. Look at this thing. Uh, it's police Kia. But let me let me continue this. So again, this is probably the first time I'm going to play though. Maybe it's just me and I'm old, but. Um, I get why they're trying to develop this thing and get a following. It just feels like it's two years too late. Like, this should have came out when the game came out. 
but there's a ton of people watching it, so clearly fuck me, I don't know what I'm talking about. But um, I don't understand why they're trying to push the idea of eat like cities having a team when all they really do is just all play and I'm guessing Los Angeles. If you really want to uh, foster some sort of sports mentality, which they're clearly trying to do with this whole, with a league and having cities be teams and each has a logo as a nickname. Um, if you really want to get like, say, New York to follow Excelsior again, that's a terrible name for a team. Their logos are just, it, it, it feels so manufactured. Like, there, it doesn't feel genuine anymore. There's no, like, I mean, the Giants, I mean, granted that, uh, you, you don't have any, like, uh, I mean, the Giants have been there for a while. Granted, they probably, it was weird when they had that name when the first came out, but there, there there's some, like, history and reasoning behind why the teams have the name they do. Like, Florida Marlins, they're a team that came in the 90s. But, hey, there's fish. Florida, there's some fish around Florida, so they're going with that. Colorado Rockies, another expansion league team. It's Colorado. It's thematic. When you've got, like, London Spitfire, yeah, that's close. With, like, you know, they got the planes. Because Spitfire was a type of bomber, I believe, they had in World War II, or they're kind of pop out. Oh, it's itch in my back. I can't reach it. Or you got, like, uh, Excelsior. What the fuck's an Excelsior? That has nothing to do with... I mean, they're not the Stanley Excelsiors. There's no reason for the New York team to have that name. It's just kind of silly. This is the tiniest, cutest bus. Yeti? Yeti? Whatever. There, there's... You're trying to get the teams... You go to the teams, like, for, for local sports teams, you want everybody in New York to follow the Yankees. There's a stadium they go to. They watch the games there for home and away. And if you have every single team playing in Los Angeles in the same arena, stadium, wherever the hell that uh, thing is... You tell somebody from New York, hey, you got a, your uh, Overwatch team is really good. It's like, oh, really? Like, I've never seen them play. When's the next home game? Oh, they don't have them anymore. Is that like saying either there's forest, it's a windy forest fire or that's a red hand. Don't go in there. They'll kidnap you. Like, there's no, they don't play t games in Seoul. They don't play games in Beijing. They don't do it in Houston. I think there's a Houston team. There's a Dallas team. See, is, is there a Seattle team? There's a New York team. Miami team, they don't play to any of those. They all play in the same place. Why do I have an attachment to any of these teams? It's 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 silly. And then there's the whole this this is a really dumb reason why I kind of find it stupid, and it doesn't really follow suit with any other uh, national professional sports league except for that rugby thing where, like the like the entire I'm finally gonna get information and it's like three seconds left. No, oh, this doesn't tell me anything. The entire, I think, uh, New York team, again, to use them as an example, is Korean. Now, I know basketball players, people who play for NBA, like, yeah, Grant, Grant LeBron James is from Ohio. I think he's, oh, I forget the exact place. So, I guess I was close. Fantastic. I gave it four stars. I shouldn't have. Oh, another one of these. But no other professional league has a mandate that every single one of your players has to be from the state or city their 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 team is and i don't it, it there, there's no like anchor they don't have like okay one new york team has like a new york kid and they're not like pushing it it's like hey come see your uh, local new york kid compete in the overwatch league there's none of that and then it it going with the cities thing again we're jumping back that way i'm, I'm kind of all over the place with these jumbled thoughts but if it, the, the cities seem arbitrary, yes, you're getting an international flavor with Beijing and Seoul and London. But if you're going for that international flair and they all just fight in the, or to play their games, fight wherever you want to compete in the same area. Does that say crap? I'm going to say crap. That says crap. Even though it says crest. Um, why, why bother having, uh, the, the, the cities to do. There's two teams from Los Angeles. That's just, it's unnecessary and dumb. They, I don't know if there's a Seattle team. They could have picked Seattle. Why didn't they pick Paris? Like, why did they pick what they picked? It, 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 this was just a missed opportunity. Ah, uh, I wish this was better quality camera. Chilla. It's like a blue. Shield? Is there blue shield roads here? 
Yes, there is. Chile Guad, no. Is it just that side of the country? I believe it looks like it. All right. So I'll just put us here, because fuck, I don't know. Call it the 123. But why why bother having the two... It's silly having the two Los Angeles teams. I mean, why don't you go try to stay in theme, keep with the lore of a game no one really cares what the lore about. Just pick, make sure they're like in-game cities they're playing from because I don't understand if you're trying to get more people to care about it that the you don't play in away games like away like you don't go to New York to play New York they all everyone plays in Los Angeles I, I I'm not gonna care about that I have there's no interest I've no it's like they're, they they're not doing anything to keep me invested as like say somebody from one of these uh these places. They're like, all right, great. I got a new th th this team. These bunch of people who play out in Los Angeles have decided to take a Houston name, even though they never are ever going to play in Houston. Like, why bother having city names tied with it if you're either not going to a have people from that city or stay on the team or be stationed out of there at all? You're all playing in Los Angeles, woody woo. Like, maybe they're actually going to take a tour around to all the other cities i mean i have really not paid too much attention to this overwatch league as some other people have but i just can't get invested in it because there's they haven't done anything to like pull me in this is a weird train track oh this is the end of the road as we go to the end of the road Though I, uh, I mean, you know what's dumb is I'm trying to remember the words to it, but I actually have to sing the song in my head so I can actually repeat them. It's, so now we go to the end of the road. Though I can't let go, you belong to me. I belong to you. Anyway, it, that's just my reason I'm not interested. I'm going to see how close I am. Fuck you, game. Seriously. Oh, there are blues over here. Zero stars. Um, that's why I don't care. And that's Akarad Plaster. Like, I, I would have cared about it more if the league came out closer when the game came out. I mean, it's, I really haven't played the game much in the past year and a half. You know, it's funny as I'm God's model aging. God's model aging. This is I definitely would have cared more about the league if it came out when the game came out. But their Blizzard has a plan. They have fuck you money. They don't need me. They're making a bunch of money without my vested interest. Oh yeah, it, what I was mentioning before. It's funny that I'm doing. I had a decent score, no K score going into this, and it was on Norway and fucking Russia. So this is. I'm gonna click there. Again, I don't know where we are. Uh, yeah, that took a while to blabber on about it. Hopefully, I made a, a coherent enough point as to why I'm not vested in it. And I mean, as far as football teams go, I really don't. Just staying on the sports things, I guess. I really do not care about the Patriots at all either. Like, when I was a kid, the Patriots were the god-awful team. Granted, they did go to the Super Bowl once in the mid-80s, but nobody cared. None of you guys have flags. Let's just get over on this road and see if I can't find a URL anywhere. Hems Cup? What do we sell here at Hems Cup? Any pasta? Pasta? Salad? Any salad? <laughs> I'm sure there's logic behind any pasta and why it's called anti-pasta. I just think it's funny. John or uh, Tomter? I don't know. You really like these Hemcock Culp flags. Why don't you put a country flag up here? Whoa, suddenly we're in winter. All right. So we now have a certain degree of latitude and longitude we're at here 
Granted, if you actually looked at... It's not the same across the entire world. Well, that was weird. We went from... Why is it just this section of... I've been a minute into this. I still have no friggin' idea where we are, more specifically. But since the, the Gulf Stream is the way it is, if you look at where... Lidl. Lidl. I think I went to a Lidl in uh, Greece once. It's still weird to me going to uh, European... This is a fancy little little thing. Still no flags. Well, non-country flags. Snicken, snicker, fabrican. I always thought it was weird. I, I, I'm like on 12 different stupid thoughts here, and I'm finally going to try to end one f right now. I would, like when I went to Mac uh, Macedonia and went to a uh, convenience store, went to a mall, to a grocery store there, and I just thought it was strange how... They got techno music blaring through their grocery stores. And here in America, we don't do that. It's just mostly like Muzak, so what to call it, elevator music type stuff. And it was also really cool seeing beer being sold in two liter plastic bottles. The same thing you would get like Coke and whatnot in. They got a China Garden, but they don't, I don't know where this is. Uh, this is going to be a bad score. Oh, you were in Sweden. What's the town? Linz Limburg? Lindsberg, okay. I'll give four stars to Sweden because you're Sweden. Um, what is this? Is this Russia again? Let's just poke our heads out from the hedge here and try to figure out where the frig we are. Is there... Oh, we're just getting into nothing here feel like just standing in this area and looking around and smell that fall air, Christmas, where it gets cold enough where like for a split second your nostrils gets pinched together. I'm going to hit home and go the other way. For those people who have never really experienced cold weather, it's one of the things I like about cold fall days and winters. It gets cold enough where like you go, you inhale really deeply through your nose where you, and then like your nostrils will get pinched together for a short time it's it's a dumb thing but i was like ah this just reminds me of this specific time of year now trash cans are always well that doesn't help me sometimes trash cans have information this one did not this has not been a strong round of geoguesser i think because of the australia guess and terrible quality Maybe if I was an arborist, I could tell what type of trees these are. But I have no idea where this is yet. This is nondescript Eastern Europe. I can't tell what yet. But I'm just hoping for like a peek at a sign somewhere. All the, none of these roads seem to penetrate this little block of villages here. But give me writing. Oh, this is. I've seen these before at Farms at Home, at least that brand name. And I don't live in Eastern Europe, so... What the hell is this? It's like, this is a very ubiquitous thing I've seen. Just this type of cart. Sometimes it's being pulled by a car, sometimes it's pulled by people, or a donkey in the case cases I've seen it. Driving around Skopje. Skopje. But I'm not getting any 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 inklings here. This is just nondescript. Other than I'm gonna say Ukraine just to split the difference, but man, I'm getting nothing here. Okay, signs in English. That is a Roman Catholic church. It is not orthodox. Virsi rogue makes me feel like it's more over here, but I don't, I don't, I do not know. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, this feels like uh, Suk. Cons, uh, give me. There's a URL on this truck. There is a URL on this truck. Romania. 
Ro. Not been to Romania. I'd like to go. Uh, we'll just do outside of Pitesi. Pitesi. Um. Yeah. I think I've had beer similar to this. Uh, what the hell was it called? Skopsko. I mean, that was the Macedonian beer. They had really cool little bottle openers. Like, it was built into the bottle cap top. I'm a very easy person to please with stupid shit. Where, like, you pull... like That was weird how it did that jump. Fruity fresh. Oh, we're over here, huh? Well, I got the country right. Uh, Hotar. Anyway, to just finish off this dumb antidote. Uh, they just had a fancy little, uh, pull tab that you would pull it off and it would just pop a little top off. It was easier to open... Therefore, I'm assuming not very childproof, and we'll never see this model of beer being sold in America. Where it's just plastic little rip pop top. I thought it was cool. I mean, if they just gave me a toy where I could just do that every day, I would, I would be happy, but... I'm entertained by really dumb things. I'm going to give this four stars just because I don't think I've had a Romanian guest yet, and I'd like more. Yeah. I kind of... I, I, I want to, at least I got the countries right in every single one, but fuck you, Australia. Seriously, get better cameras. I mean, I like you, but I, mean, I couldn't really figure out where we were with that quality video. Maybe I'll visit you one day, but uh, they, I, I just don't know how overblown the idea of everything that's poisonous lives there, and you're probably tired of the trope, but there's some truth to everything there. It's pretty venomous. I mean, they they kind of had to be growing up there, but anyway, not a strong week. A little bummed. I had one botch recording session. Told you about that in the last video, but hey, these things happen when you're as unskilled, unprofessional as I. But hey, come back next week for some more GeoGuess, or go back and watch some other videos if you're just coming to this, or some watch some other videos on the channel. Either way, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed any of this, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Tell me how out of touch I am with this Overwatch rant I had for a good percentage of this video. I'd like to hear some information. I want to know how, if, if any of the things I complain about, you even care about. I'm willing to admit that everything I care about is very antiquated. But I'm an old person. And that's just how I am, I guess. Either way. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time and have a good one.